Hey agents, it's Manny. With the current price of 24 US dollars for Warlords in New York, I've been seeing a lot of new agents coming through my stream, and a recurring question I keep getting is about starting builds and things like that. So in this video, I'm gonna cover a very simple starter build that can get you a ton of mileage, and even allow you to help out in legendaries uh, to get your feet wet in there. It is your basic skill build. I'll of course cover the build itself, and then how to use the build. Before we start, if you're new to the channel, please hit the subscribe button and ding that notification bell so you know when there's new videos. And if you're looking for someone to game with, you can find me and other players in the Militia Discord server. The link is in the description below. <clears throat> All right, now for the build itself. Now, you're going to see there are two exotics in here, and you might be thinking, that's not really easy to get. Well, these are two exotics that are pretty easy to get as of today. All right? So let's first go over the weapons, um, and then we'll get into the gear. So we're going to go over the exotic first, the capacitor. This one's super easy. This is the easiest exotic I think there is to get. This is You get this by doing five challenges in the summit. And you can pick any five. There's 30 of them. Just pick five. Just do five of them. Super easy. And it doesn't matter which ones you do. So just do five of them. You'll get this awesome weapon to have. Now, the reason it's awesome is you're basically assault rifle damage, damage to armor, damage to health. All right, great. It's the talent, capacitance. So shooting enemy builds up a stack of 40, uh, cap of 40. Each stack grants 1.5 skill damage. That means you get an additional 60% skill damage when this is when you have all 40, all right? And for each uh, skill tier, you gain 7.5% weapon damage. That means at a skill tier six, which you will have because you this is a skill build, you'll be getting 45% more weapon damage, which is really nice. Now, the secondary weapon, which probably not gonna use much, but just have in case, um, I'm going with the Harmony. Um, it's a named uh, named rifle, and we it is perfect in sync. So hitting an enemy grants 40, uh, 20 skill damage for five seconds. Using a skill or damage damage of a skill is, is also 20% weapon damage. And if you have both buffs up, it doubles it. So you get 40% skill damage and 40% weapon damage, which isn't too bad either. Capacitor is a little bit better, but Harmony is pretty damn close, um, which is pretty cool. So these are two good weapons to have. Uh, if you just get a regular rifle with InSync, I think it's good to have, you have an AR and a rifle, don't be using two weapons of the same uh, category, that way you don't run out of ammo. This way, if something happens and I run out of AR ammo, I still have um, rifle ammo. So, these are two good weapons to use. Uh, pistol, doesn't matter, not ever gonna use it, so ignore it. Now, onto the gear. Let's go look at the exotic first. This is the waveform. Now, this is currently a level 90 reward for season four, all right? So anyone can get this. And this is off the normal tier, not the paid tier. So the top tier. So if we look right now at the season, this is season four. It's currently running for another five weeks. And we're at 100, I got 100. If we go down to 90, you get waveform. You automatically get, this is the free tier. This is the paid for tier. So down here is just cosmetics. Don't worry about anything like that. Up here is the actual paid, uh, the free stuff. So everyone gets this no matter what. Level 90. It does take a little bit, but we still have, at as speaking right now, I believe it's five weeks. Five weeks and three out. Five weeks exactly as I'm recording this to get to level 90. I think I did it in less than a week, a few days. It doesn't take long. So let's look at the waveform. That's how you get it. Now let's look at it. Now, I do want to say, though, after this, uh, if you don't get it during season rewards, you can get it during any, uh, if you go holster um, targeted loot, that's when you can get it or run with someone that already has it and hopefully they can double your chances of getting it as well. So why we have this is because only exotic holsters have talents. This one now obviously has skill damage and skill haste with uh, obviously core attribute uh, skill tier. All right, those are nice. Mine could be rolled better. Alternating current, generate a stack of 3% skill damage on one of your skills every second, capping at 10. So that's 30% skill damage. After 10 seconds, it transfers the other skill. So you're always getting 30% skill damage on one skill, and it keeps transferring back and forth between the two skills. Nice. So this is, this is a really good best-in-slot weapon for this. Uh, talent, sorry. Gear piece, sorry. Now, the rest of it. So we're going to go a three-piece... Empress International, which is the new uh, gear set that was re released in uh, Title Update 12. And the reason we're going with this is you get three pieces. You get skill health, which is, you know, helps your uh, skill stay alive when people are shooting them. You get 10% skill damage. Then you also get 10% skill efficiency, which is a new 
uh, attribute. And what you get with skill efficiency, this is just like uh, weapon handling. It's multiple things in one time. Skill efficiency is, so with 10% skill efficiency, you get 10% skill damage, 10% skill haste, 10% skill duration, 10% skill health, 10% skill repair, which we don't care about, 10% status effect, which we also don't necessarily care about in this build as well. So out of that, you get you get another 10% skill damage, 10% skill haste, 10% skill duration, 10% skill health. And you also get repair and status, but for this build, those two uh, stats don't matter. Or I should say attributes. So that's a beautiful uh, talent to have. Skill efficiency is great. So it's given us 40% more attribute bonuses. So that's why we're going three-piece Empress International. Now, the uh, one piece you do want to kind of pick up is the uh, Hanayu Corp. This is the named one, Force Multiplier. So we're going with skill damage uh, minus status effect. I actually use this skill. Uh, probably status effect would be better, but it's not that big of a deal. I use this also for a demo uh, build. So that's why I have status effects for the, um, for the demo. Um, it has what you want is the perfectly combined arm. So shooting enemies, which we're going to be doing to get our stacks up, whether it's harmony or capacitor, shooting enemy gives you 30% skill damage for three seconds. So just keep shooting enemies and you get this 30% skill damage. So this is more skill damage. This is what you want. It does come with 10% skill haste. Yeah, skill haste is not the greatest thing. We don't care necessarily that much about it, but it's not bad to have. Uh, and also like I missed it, but skill damage, skill haste. This one's maxed out for, um, our, mods we're going to go skill duration and on our backpack skill duration as well now let's look at our chest piece i went with wyvern wear uh, you can also go with the uh hana you so you can get two piece hana you so if we look at the two piece hana it's actually skill damage so you can either go and still get this 10 percent skill damage with uh wyvern or with a hana because they both give 10 percent skill damage since you already have one piece of hana with a force multiplier it doesn't matter so you can wyvern or hana now, what I'm running on this is glass cannon. So all damage you deal is amplified by 25%, all right? However, you are going to take 50% more damage. So all damage, that includes skill damage and stuff like that as well. Once again, this has status effects. It would be better with um, skill haste, but uh, I believe, actually, you know what? This is, this is also another one I use for my demo. That's why I have status effects. I actually do need to optimize this to get it uh, god rolled, but skill damage, status effect, skill duration for my mod, glass cannon. Now, if you're having trouble with glass cannon, there are two alternatives. Uh, you have kinetic momentum, which gives you an additional 15% skill damage, or you got overwatch, which is 12% skill damage while in cover. So you're, you're going to be in cover the whole time anyway. So that's not too bad either. You do lose out on a little bit of damage, but you will get rid of that 50% um, amplified damage. So if you're finding that you can't survive and live and you're dying real quickly, you can switch to Kinetic Momentum or Overwatch. They're not as much damage, but like I said, sometimes it's better to survive. And then just the gloves, I have uh, Empress International, Damage, Haste. And then the knees, we have Damage and Haste, right? Empress International. Now, like I said, you need three pieces, Empress. You wanna get the Force Multiplier. I believe it's actually being sold in the vendor right now today. For the, this week i think it's probably three hours or four hours and it's gone but you can you can get the, if you can get this one it's great uh as far as empress international any any you can go uh mask you can go mask chest gloves or knees this just happens how i have it because i have the wyvern and then whichever other piece get the honey you or the wyvern and then go from there now for our skills we're going to be going with assault turret and striker drone right those are your, your the ones you want the most and then for skills, we're going with health, damage in the middle, in the, in the middle, and then on the far right, we're gonna have skill haste, and very similar for the drone. So we're gonna have duration, we have skill damage, and then we have health. All right, so we're going with technician, and I want to sh show you the skills real quickly because technician can either heal or do skill damage. So when you go into technician, you wanna make sure right here that you have overclock CPU and not enhanced diagnostics. So this is the healing one, this is the damage one. This gives you another 10% skill damage. This is the one you really want. Everything else, just go whatever. Um, basically, assault rifles and uh, rifles. Obviously, you want the increase there. I do have pistols, but you can choose whatever else. Um, so make sure you have overclock CPU, and that's it. Everything else can doesn't matter. All right, so that's the build, guys. Um, did I cover everything? Yeah, basically, um, Harmony, if you're going to do it, put. Uh, I basically put uh, crit chance. Uh, extra rounds, crit chance, crit chance, and that's, I think, covering um, the build. All right, now on to how to use it.
All right, so we'll start off with a uh, CP. This is a, a heroic CP uh, demolition site. So you guys saw my build. The biggest thing you got to think about now is kind of knowing where people are going to be, NPCs are going to be, where they're going to spawn from. So knowing everything is is really the basics of almost anything in this game. So what I'm going to try to do is always uh, place my turret in a position where it can cover me. So I'm not going to get overwhelmed by any of the NPCs. The drone is going to take care of everything else, but for the most part, the turret's going to be kind of in an area so I, I don't get charged. So once you get your drone set up, your uh, turret set up, set up your drone, take care of the NPCs. If they're close to you, don't shoot you, shoot at them because they're going to actually aggro the turret and the drone instead of you. Once you start shooting and hitting them, that's when they'll take, uh, start shooting you. So you're going to have to move your uh, turret around once in a while, but... What you want to do is kind of stay back a little bit. I should be shooting right now, but with heroics, I'm actually doing quite a bit of damage anyway, so it's not too bad. So you can see where I put the turret here. And then I'll fast forward a little bit so you can see where I move the turret after uh, this for a second. So I'm down to about two enemies on this wave. So I'm going to move my turret a little closer. I dismantled it. I'm going to put it right on this box because I do know they come out the door right behind it. They come out right here. But you also notice I moved back to cover and be far away. Yeah, I'm a glass cannon. Don't want to be up close there. So, as you can see, the turret is lighting everything up as it comes out that door, which is which is exactly what we wanted to do. All right, so let's move on to the defense stage. All right, so now we're on the defense stage. So now I'm looking for a place to put my turret so it has a good field of uh, fire of everyone coming in. They always they typically come through that uh, main entrance there, so I get it firing there. I'm going to be lined up over here myself with uh, and shooting my capacitor to make sure they don't rush me too much. And that's really it. So make sure you have it in a good position. Uh, it's tough. You got to make sure it doesn't get line of sighted, but that's where the drone comes in handy as well. Um, so yeah, that's that for this. So just find a nice place to lay it down and you'll be all set. The nice thing about this one was we had a little bonus uh, footage for you guys here. So what ends up happening is I got two rogues came to attack me at the end. So um, I came up and climbed on the second floor of the emotion site. I just had my FAMAS out, but um, you can see where I put the turret down there. So they, they're kind of kind of be focused on the turret there. My drone's out. You can see I'm actually, the drone and the turret are actually burning the uh, agents down, the rogue agents down pretty quickly. And uh, I'm being left alone mostly. So high ground is key. They're going to have trouble throwing grenades up here and uh, doing anything else with their special skills. And you watch me burn this first rogue down pretty quickly. I should say my skills basically do it and finished him off. Oh, he tagged me once, so got to hide heal up and he's down so that's how you take out rogues guys all right this video is getting a bit long but i think it's important not to just show you what the build is but why we chose the pieces we did so uh you can use this build like i said for heroic missions open world activities and as mentioned earlier you can even use it for grouping up to do legendaries keys to remember are tart placement make sure you know where the npcs are coming from and place the tart between you and them high ground is also king and that's all I have for today. I hope you enjoyed this video and found it helpful. If you did, please hit that like button below and leave a comment if you have any questions. I'm going to do my best to answer them. If you'd like to see more content like this, then please smash the subscribe button. And you can also hit me up when I'm live over on Twitch at twitch.tv slash maniocrity, where I stream Friday, Saturday, and Sunday evenings starting at 10 p.m. Eastern Standard Time. Until next time, agents, happy hunting.